Hello, friends. <laughs> welcome or welcome back to Shadow Play Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here today, friends. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Make yourselves at home. There is plenty of content to catch up on. And if you are returning, well, you know, I tell you all the time, friends, thank you so much. Thank you for coming back and spending more of your precious time with me here on the channel. Um, you guys know what's up. I love hanging out with you. And it is also my hope that you enjoy your time while you're here. Um, let's get to today's reading. Today we are going to be looking into who or what is heading your way. So that is the first question. Now we're going to be looking into what is it that you need to know about this person or this situation. And then we'll be pulling some advice and guidance. Um, you guys know I'm always going to remind you it's super important for you to use your own discernment when you're watching this and any other collective reading. Um, so yeah, just make sure to take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Um, and if something happens to talk about things where you've been there, done that, and you're over it, it does not mean you're going to repeat it. It just means you're probably at a different point in the timeline than the other people that chose the same group as you. Um, all right, let's get into it. We have three groups to choose from. We have group number one, group number two, and group number three. Whenever you're ready, I'll meet you at your reading. Hello, my group number ones. <laughs> if you picked this sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. Today, we're going to be looking into who or what is heading your way. Um, yeah, so that's the first question. Then we're going to be looking into what is it you need to know about this person or this situation that comes up. And then we'll be getting some advice and guidance for you. My group number ones, you guys know what's up. It's a collective reading on YouTube. Um, and that means use your own discernment. Um, yeah, if, if the message isn't resonating, it's okay. Or if it's confusing or triggering in any kind of way, it just means it's probably not your reading today, friends. All right, let's get to it. Thank you for joining me here, my babies. And thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number ones. My group number ones, please. All right, who or what is heading towards my group number ones? What can we know? What can you tell us? Messages for my group number ones. Who or what? is heading their way. What can we know? Some of you guys might be traveling. There might be something about a car. Who or what is heading their way? Thank you, Spirit. Get your, get your car checked. If you're planning on driving somewhere or you have... Oh... Someone said, so I'm filming this like the day after the full moon and there was an eclipse. So um, maybe like it brings up like car trouble for some of you. This is just a side note. If you're like, I don't drive. Well, that's not for you. Check the wheels on your scooter though. All right. So I, I feel like you guys aren't going to end up going somewhere. Maybe it was somewhere that you had planned to go or a family event or uh, maybe if you do something like an anniversary, you usually go and do something. Or maybe this is what's going to hold you back from being able to go somewhere. All right, for others of you, um, those were all just side messages. So for others of you, this is a person bringing an offer to you. They've thought about this a lot. They've been planning this. They've been kind of calculating in some way. So this feels like it's, uh, I mean, I know that the topic is what's coming towards you or what's heading your way. Um, but this feels like it's coming towards you. Like you don't have to, you don't have to do anything. Look at you right here. You may, you're not expecting this or you weren't. Yeah, no, it doesn't feel like you were expecting this. Or if you were at one point, you thought it was something that was never going to happen. This could even be like someone that normally would never apologize, apologizes. Like it could be a boss or a, a teacher or a, maybe a parent for some of you or someone in your life in general. Uh, this is, like I said, maybe they're an air sign or they're just kind of coming off as one. Yeah, this person has been thinking a lot and they're ready to clear the air. They're kind of tired of going over something that happened in the past. And they feel like 
you're, again, it does not feel like you're coming towards them. You're just over here. Maybe turn your back or maybe you don't even care anymore. Or if you do, it's not anything that you're really trying to do anything about. So this is someone that thinks very, like, fondly of you. Like, they have a sweet spot. Or they have, like, happy memories with you or they think of you and they think of, like, your good traits. Like, this is definitely someone that, that, uh, yeah, they have little feelings for you or at least certain memories with you in them. So for some of you, this is because you remind them of, okay, say this is a boss. It's like you, you might remind them of like someone else that they hold in high regard of like when they were younger, when they just started and they see like a bright future for you. It's like, that's kind of the vibe. It feels a little, if it's boss or if it's work related, it feels mentor kind of, and they hold like a special place for you. Um, Cause it does feel like it's stemming from something that they're like, Oh, I remember when, you know, and then fill in the blank. Now, if this is someone that you are involved with or that they want to be involved with you um, romantically or maybe um, they feel like you guys could learn from each other, perhaps share wisdom, grow together. If it's romantic, it's like someone that sees a lot of compatibility with you. You guys are alike or they match with your values your beliefs or your spirituality. I don't know. It's almost like it awakens something within them, regardless of who they are. Yeah, this person's like, uh, I kind of feel like they've been thinking about this a lot. So I, so for some of you, this is an opportunity. And for others of you, this is a person. Regardless, it's a person delivering it. But I mean, an opportunity might be to join them in some way. Like I said, for some of you, it could be work or I don't know, maybe even like some kind of maybe like church or um, maybe like a cultural something or a traditional something, something new that's starting up that they think you'd be great for. Maybe for some of you, there's like a, a branch that works with children and they think that you'd be good for it. Maybe you guys are a little bit at, at a distance. Oh, lots of messages coming through. But um, yeah, I definitely feel some of you guys, it's something like that. And for others of you, this could be someone that um, sees a lot of, like I said, there's a lot of like compatibility maybe that they see. So this person feels like they've maybe have tried to make this happen for a while, or maybe, no, this person's been thinking outside the box. Listen, the, this person don't be fooled. When they approach you with this, they've already gone over the pros, cons, the fine print, the the footnotes, the everything. <laughs> they have dissected um, because this is someone that doesn't move without. Mm, I want to say in this case, heavy intention, but also heavy thought. They've thought this through. Tell me about the Knight of Swords in reverse with the Six of Cups. Messages for my group number ones. Who or what is heading their way? Yeah, no. Incoming message, bitch. Yeah, no. This person. And they feel like you're like very fiery, but like zesty. In a, in a very good way. All right. Why the Three of Wands in reverse with the Queen of Wands? They feel left out of this person misses you or they feel left out or they're lacking something that you can bring in. They're, they might be lacking something that you have if it's work related. Maybe they lack the vision, the creativity, the passion, the drive, the, you know, however you operate if it's work. If it's someone that is 
interested in you or that you've been involved with, it's like they miss you because it's been a long time or they feel like they're at a distance and nothing is really changing. So they're, they thought of something that really pulled like at their heartstrings, at their cold little heartstrings over here with the King of Swords. They're like, I have feelings. <laughs> Wait, what is this that I feel in my chest? They're like, is this it? Am, am I about to follow the light? And it's like, no, those are feelings. <laughs> Oh, man, there needs to be like an inside out movie for, for like a king of swords and an emperor and like all of these. Right. Um, but anyway, I, back to this over here, this person's been thinking about this a lot. So they've gone over scenarios. And like I said, it feels like they want to come in and clear the air. You seem a little unbothered or unfazed or who knows, because we're not really tapping into you over here, but that's just, maybe that's how they're viewing you. They feel like you're very confident and you're growing. Why the seven of cups in reverse with the five of uh, swords? <laughs> what did I tell you? This person thought that they were like, on their deathbed but no it was just love trying to grow or it was just feelings trying to come in and they're like over intellectual what is that over intellectualizing is that the right word you know what I mean they're overthinking that's so funny I laugh because I can totally relate my Gemini moon for sure well that's that's this person's boat and again you know take the messages as they pertain to your situation because obviously if it's work it it, uh, it's, they're not viewing you in that way, but maybe they're like ready to have someone like you join things, even though there's been something here for them to overcome. Like it wasn't an easy decision for, uh, you know, that could be because of other factors. So regardless of what context this person is approaching you in, it does feel like it wasn't an easy decision because they... They're an overthinker. Tell me about the guru and the fool. Ooh. They feel like you guys could have... <laughs> what in the earth shattering conversation is this? They want to have... Look at... What did I say earlier? Send them to inside out. That's... Uh, okay, so maybe that was... For some of you, that could have been in the past that they didn't step up or they didn't have the confidence or they haven't. Maybe, uh, especially like, let's okay, let's say if it's a boss, it's like this is someone that doesn't know how to take the reins. So now they might be thinking about mixing it up by bringing you in in some way. Now, if this is romantic, this is someone that has really thought about how to change things between you and them. Whatever this chapter is, whether it's distance, whether it's space, someone could have even gotten ghosted with this, whether it's they're thinking back to something, there's some kind of conversation here that you guys had or that they, that they want to have. Um, it kind of feels like they want to have this conversation about some kind of new beginning. They also feel like you guys could learn a lot from each other. They think that you're smart. They feel like you match them like intellectually, which is interesting because I don't think that this person thinks that of a lot of people around them. Not saying that they're an asshole, but it takes kind of a lot to be able to have a certain type of conversation or carry on certain type of conversations. So I believe that this person, you know, they know their own little dirty tricks or they know how they can be or maybe they know how they've fucked up. And that's part of why they it wasn't an easy yes <laughs> to like come towards you. It wasn't an easy decision. So this person, the way that you talk, there's something here about talking, your advice um, I mean, maybe some of you are a therapist and this is someone who has been wanting to come towards you and it's been very difficult, but it doesn't feel that. I just have to mention that because, um, you know, of course, if that's your situation, then you know that. Um, and I'm not saying you're going to be this person's therapist, but this person views you as being very, very smart, very wise, and like they want to have a new beginning that you are a part of. And they're really hoping that you 
feel the same. Yeah, look. And as I'm saying that sentence that you feel the same, emperor in reverse, three of cups in reverse, six of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they're not sure um, if you want this or if, you know, you've freed yourself from whatever it is that they would have to offer you. Maybe some of you, if this is work, maybe some of you have gone um, freelance or, you know, you're doing other things. And so they're not sure if you would still want to come and join them. Or if this is someone you already know that has been, it's been a while and, you know, now they're thinking of coming in and having some kind of conversation. They're hoping that you still feel the same. But it's almost like that's the thought that's been holding them back. The what if, what if, what if, why, 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 what, what, what. It's almost like those tricks didn't work or they're seeing how they're contributing. So I think that's why they're saying fuck it and they're coming towards you. All right. Um, let's continue. We have Aries. I said air. Yeah, this person's coming off as being heavy air and fire. Um, we have Scorpio, mm -hmm. the stinger is here, um, Scorpies again, so uh, double air as well, we have Taurus, and we have fire, yeah, you guys, air and fire, what, you know, people are a, a good way to think of it if you're not really familiar when we say like air and fire, it's like think of what happens when it's heavy winds and there's a fire, it's like that's kind of what happens sometimes with this person, perhaps, or maybe between you and them. It's powerful, but it's also like intense, maybe for this person. I don't know. It, it just depends on what the dynamic is between you guys. All right, let's see. Um, let's see what else you need to know. All right, what does my group number ones need to know about this person heading their way? What do they need to know about this person that's heading their way? Messages for my group number ones. What do they need to know? I guess let's look more into their intentions since we're pretty sure that for most of you, it's a person with some kind of offer. All right. What are this person's intentions? What does my group number ones need to know? What are this person's intentions coming towards my group number ones? What is it they need to know? The world in reverse. They could have seen you online or they feel something here is open-ended. Yeah, no, this person's been wasting a lot of time thinking. This is also, uh, they might see you online or see something or I don't know. There's some kind of flood of emotions that this person's like not prepared for. Yeah, and they're going to be like, hey, here, here is uh, my pinnacle. Here's my offer. This is what I think. This is what I think we could do, or this is what I think about you, or what I have going on, and what you have to, I don't know, you know, it's like there's something here. Maybe it's even catching up, this person's thinking back. I wonder if you guys grew up with this person, or were really good friends with them, or they, I don't know. It doesn't have to be that, because this could for sure be, obviously, that growth for work. But whoever this is, they feel like, they're tired of waiting and they're coming towards you with an offer that they feel both of you will make both of you happy. And for those of you that already know who this is, it's like they just think back to something. They might even like kind of bring you some kind of little gift. Yeah, it's been a while or they've been thinking about this for a while. They've been reflecting what does my group number ones need to know? What are this person's intentions? What do my group number ones need to know? Oh, so you're not, there's, you're not easy to get to, whether that's because of distance, space, time, you're quiet, you're laying low. This person feels like, <laughs> get it, group one. This person's like, group one's the prize. <laughs> yeah. Why the world in reverse? What are this person's intentions? What do my group number ones need to know? Oh, shit. <laughs> not, the, not the close, the distance. Yeah, this person wants to see you, talk to you, reconnect. 
Why the Six of Cups? They miss you. Oh my God. The cards are like, how many ways? How many ways can we say, return, come back, close the distance? Literally. This person's going to step out of their comfort zone in some way. We have the, the guru again. Yeah, no, this person's focused on being fair or on locking something in with you, getting on the same page as you. It's like you hold some kind of key to growth. And if it's not that, it's that they want to recover from whatever happened between you guys. This person may, if this is like romantic, this person may have like gone to therapy or healed or had some realizations or gotten some kind of advice that was like life changing. Again, I think that's how they view you as well, but they could have, maybe they had some help. I don't know, because they seem really determined. And you guys know that if I were to sniff something that didn't feel right, I would be pointing it out. But so far, this person's got good intentions by the hermit. I am not surprised. I am not surprised. Not not one bit. I I knew it. I actually was surprised that it didn't come out over here. Because this person's like, fuck it. I got to lock it in with group number one. All right. They're just fingers crossed that you feel the same. They're hoping that time hasn't changed this or made you unavailable, perhaps. Or, um, no, this person's thought about this a lot. So just know that you're, you're highly wanted here. <laughs> and it doesn't feel like this person is coming in with like a taking mentality. They want to be consistent, devoted. Uh, maybe they feel like they hit some kind of bottom and now it's time to go up. Tell me more. Why the Hermit with the Two of Cups? Oh, they are like, I hope that group one feels the same. I hope group one feels the same. All right. Well, this person, yeah, look, Ace of Swords in reverse. So the high priestess, they feel you do, but their ego kind of gets to them. Oh, yeah, look, there we go again. Maybe they're driving towards you or traveling towards you. Okay, we see you, spirit. Six of swords in reverse. Look at return, return, return. That is so funny. All right. Well, friends, that's what we got for you today. I feel like you guys um, got a lot of messages there. All right, let's, um, oh shit, I didn't even realize. I didn't pull, what oracle cards should we do today? Let's do these for sure. Thank you, Spirit. Messages from my group, number ones. What can we know? What can you tell us? Who or what is heading their way? What can we know? What can you tell us? Hunger, someone's hungry for you. Someone's anxious. Yeah, it's that feeling of it's been too long. Look, space, fear. Oh, we talked about this, didn't we, friends? And peace. This person's ready to step through that fear door because it's like they just need to find out, you know, is what it feels like. They're tired of thinking of it. They're ready to, they're ready to take action. All right, let's see. We have P-O-M, Palm. Someone could have a Pomeranian. Oh, look, two M's. We have G-L, Glad, Glue, G-G, L-M, N, L-M-N-O, P. Something's in alphabetical order. This person's uh, trying to do something the right way. Interesting. We have MG, Maggie, Mom, OG. We have CEO, someone could own a business. Then we have P. 
All right, my group number ones, that is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. Please take care of yourselves and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks, guys. Hello, my group number twos. <laughs> if you picked the sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. Today, we're going to be looking into who or what is heading your way. My group number two, so that is the first question. Then we're going to be looking into what is it you need to know, and we'll be seeing if any advice and guidance comes through for you today. Uh, my group number twos, you guys know what's up. It's a collective reading on YouTube, so please only take what resonates. Leave the rest for someone else. Um, if something happens to trigger you, or if the messaging's confusing, or talking about something where you've been there, done that, and you're over it, friends. It just probably means that it's not your reading today and it's okay. That does happen. Um, all right, let's get it. My group number two is thank you for joining me here, my babies. All right. Thank you, spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number twos. Messages for my group number twos, please, spirit. Messages for my group number twos. Who or what is heading towards my group number twos? Who or what is heading their way? Thank you, spirit. Messages for my group number twos. Who or what is heading their way? What can we know? What can you tell us? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. Who or what is heading their way? Messages for my group number twos, please. Who or what is heading their way? What can we know? What can you tell us? Oh, shit. We'll take that. Oh. Uh, could be a Capricorn. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Why, why, why? Who is this? Who's heading towards my group number twos? Who or what is heading their way? Yeah, this is someone who uh, is a little, they're either Capricorn or they're a little obsessive. Uh, if it's not that they're obsessive, uh, let's just say they've been self-sabotaging. And they want to come towards you. They want to have some kind of conversation with you. They want to clear something up. Messages for my group. Number twos, please. Who or what is heading towards them? Who or what is heading towards them? This person's not happy with something. Either some kind of truth that was never revealed someone here doesn't know what's going on a miscommunication we're gonna see what that is why the nine of swords in reverse who is this who or what is coming towards my group number twos so for some of you if this is like work related it could be like a job that is ooh, you know with that devil the world, five of cups in reverse. Why the devil? Who or what is heading towards my group number twos? Why the hermit in reverse? Yeah, no, someone's trying to talk to you. Someone's trying to work with you. Someone's trying to... Okay, be careful. If this is a job, fuck this job. Sorry, guys. If you, got, if you absolutely have to, then just know that you have to set your standard and your boundaries. You have to, or else this environment's going to eat you alive. It doesn't, it's not going to care for you, you know? If it's a job. The messaging is different if it's a person, so we'll talk about that. Well, obviously, it's going to be a person, you know, possibly offering a job, but the, it's just, yeah, I definitely would be very upfront about what I expect and how I feel. Um, whoever this is wants to work with you. They want, uh, they want something from you. They, they definitely want to have a conversation with you because things aren't, they don't like the way that things are. I can't tell exactly in what context or how you're connected to this person. So it's going to be different for everyone. Why the nine of swords in reverse with the world card? Temperance in reverse. This person's impulsive. This person's impulsive and a little chaotic. If it's not that they're chaotic, it's that it like they might even reach out like late at night or something. Like it, it just feels like it's impulsive. 
Like they're just up thinking about this and they don't think about you or your boundary or your what maybe you're doing in the moment. And they're like, I just have a thought. It does feel like a toxic boss that doesn't know boundaries. If it's not that, it's someone who has been so in their head about you that they're just going to reach out like literally a, a little impulsively because they want to know, hey, uh, what what is this? What's going on? Or I don't know. Maybe they want you to make them feel better in some way. Like they might even be drunk if when they reach out to you. They don't, they definitely don't have to be. But if this is ringing true, like someone that you know would do this and that, that checks out, then maybe that message is for you. Why the Ace of Swords in reverse with the Five of Cups in reverse? That obviously does not apply if it's a job or a boss. I'm not saying that. <laughs> Why the Ace of Swords in reverse with the Five of Cups in reverse? They want to know why something didn't move forward. Yeah, no, this person, literally, it might even be when you're supposed to be sleeping and they're like, hey, excuse me, <laughs> ding, <laughs> your phone. Um, let's see what, <laughs> we are going to look into their intentions, but I just want to see what's the bullshit message that they open up communication with. Why the devil with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? This could even be someone, some of you are a family member or something. If this is ringing true, it does not have to be, but just throwing that out there. You're not paying attention to me. You're not paying attention to me. Hey, hey, I need something from you. Oh, this person. One more, please. Tell me about that devil. Man, they're going to lie to you. Uh, it doesn't have to be a big lie, but let's just say that they are, they message you and they're like, um, they ask you some dumb question or they're like, hey, did you see, I'm fill in the blank. And it's like something on TV, or, uh, it's something dumb, but that's not really why they're communicating with you. <laughs> they have an agenda. <laughs> Tell me about the hermit in reverse with the... Page of Swords. I just hit the mic. Sorry, guys. Why the Hermit in Reverse with the Page of Swords? Two of Cups. Yeah. Because you are they. You have them blocked. <laughs> oh, man. This person wants your loving or they want your advice. They want your... I don't know. They want something from you. Um... <laughs> All right, so the devil's trying to come back for some of you. Anything else? Who or what? Who or what? Look at someone got ghosted or someone's feeling left out. Yeah, someone's feeling. Someone's in their feels, possibly. I don't know if feels is the right way. Someone's leaning heavily into their, their devil energy. That's who... That's who I feel is heading towards some of you. I don't know. Consider it a warning if you'd like. <laughs> you guys, if that's a job, listen. If it's a person you already have blocked, we'll just keep them blocked. But, um, yeah, if it's a job, be careful with that, friends. Not me being concerned for you guys. <laughs> All right, messages for my group number twos, please. What do they need to know about this person's intentions? What do they need to know about this person that's heading towards them? What do they need to know about their intentions? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. What do they need to know? What do they need to know about who's heading their way and this person's intentions? What can we know about this person's intentions? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. What can we know about this person's intentions? Not that you want to fight. <laughs> wow. Five of Wands, Six of Pentacles in reverse. Messages for my group number twos. Yeah, this person just is chaotic, you know? They want to come in. They haven't really worked on anything. 
They're not really giving, it's like they're just coming, this is coming in as a taker. You know? Yeah. And the reason I said it that way is because if you came from group one, it's like kind not similar. It's di completely different energy, even though there's some slight, I don't even know if there's similarities, kind of, but yeah, no, the energy here, it's where it definitely shows the difference is that there's no pure intention. It's just, they they bring chaos. You might even like see their message and ignore it or literally it's coming at a point where you're resting or you're you're just chilling, you're you're taking a break and it feels like incoming message. What are this person's intentions? What can we know for my group number twos? Why the five of wands? What can we know about their intentions? To come towards you with drama. Maybe because they'll know you'll hear them out. Or they just feel like they can. Why the Eight of Pentacles in reverse? They just want to be happy in the moment. Or they, they want you to like, I don't know. Maybe make them feel better, or but without them really putting in the work. Why the Eight of Wands? Hey, what have you been up to? Okay, that's how they're going to say. Hey. And then it's like, oh no, what do you want? Why the Four of Cups? Maybe you're like, you only hit me up when you want something. Why the Four of Swords? Yeah, you're going to choose not to. Honestly, this is already coming in as your advice. Maybe in the moment. I mean, obviously, if this is someone that's like dear to you, then, and you're kind of used to cleaning up after their chaos or hearing them out or something like that. Because it even feels like if you miss their call or if you ignore them, they take it as rejection. Even if, let's say you were sleeping, you're like, but I was sleeping. And like, they might take that as rejection. They might be coming towards you because they had a fight with someone. Why the five of wands? But like I said, it's like they're still bringing drama to you. Yeah, they could have, look at, maybe they don't have anyone else to talk to or they feel like you have been ignoring them and that's pushing them coming towards you. And they literally, when they do it, they have no thought or concern over what you may be doing or what's going on with you. Why the Eight of Pentacles in reverse with the Sun card? The Magician. Yeah, this person. They're kind of a little bit like me, me, me. Or like, group two will know what to say or do. Or group two makes me feel better. Group two holds the key. If this is, if this is like work, the environment seems awful. I feel like when you see that they call, it's like, you know why the full in reverse. Yeah. This is kind of feeling like maybe you're not going to talk to them or not this time. And like I said, for some of you, it literally could be because you're sleeping or you missed it or, you know, you're, I don't know, an adult living your life probably. All right, for you, we are going to do advice and guidance um, in case you need it. All right, thank you, Spirit. Messages from my group number twos, please. Can we get some advice and guidance? Advice and guidance for my group number twos. Thank you, Spirit. Advice and guidance for my group number twos, this person that's heading their way. Advice and guidance for my group number twos. Thank you, Spirit. Messages from my group number twos, please. Can we get advice and guidance? Advice and guidance. Thank you, Spirit. Five of Pentacles. Five of Swords. I, I you know, I'm going to stick with the little bit of a chaos theory here. That this person is a little chaotic and I don't know if they have self-awareness. Because look, it's like you enjoy them, you have fun, but you're also like mothering them. 
or you're the one showing up as being more mature as the one that can kind of take the lead and get things feeling stable. This person, I'm not going to lie, they might be like emotionally reliant on you or um, or maybe they feel, I feel like you make them feel safe in some way or you make them feel good. You might like, yeah. I This isn't a first time with them. I do think that you feel they're a little bit of an opportunist or you feel like they can't offer you much. Like, I think you still have like a special place in your heart for them, but there needs to be boundaries here because it's like this person doesn't grow up or they're not going to, or at least not right now. Why the five of pentacles with the king of cups in reverse? Yeah, because they're not even committed to themselves. Look, they literally do zero work. This is the type of person that the world did it to them. The world is out to get them. And maybe you know that and you understand that. And that's why you've been there for them. But look at they got to learn. This person's very stubborn. All right, friends. And if it's a boss, maybe it's not that you've worked for them before, but you know the types. You know the types, my group number twos. All right, that was clear and direct. We like it. Messages for my group number twos, please. Oh, we have creativity. We'll take that. Messages for my group number twos, please. Why am I dropping the cards? Who or what is heading their way? What can we know? What can you tell us? Maybe you help inspire this person. I definitely think you help ground them. Or they feel like someone like you can do that for them. Balance, determination, consciousness, and flow. You help this person maybe think bigger with that consciousness. Again, maybe you're just inspiring or someone who is there for them. But I don't know. I mean, I get it, especially if it's like, <laughs> like you're, uh, you know, I don't know if you're a parent to like an older child or a friend that's full of drama or a sibling or even a, a, a past lover, you know, where you still have this special place for them in your heart, maybe, but they just will, I was going to say they will never change, but it's not fair to say that because people do change. But in your eyes, maybe at this point, they're not there yet. <laughs> All right, we have MS, Miss, Missy. We have FFM, another M. Wow, lots of M's and lots of F's. Femme, someone is femme, very girly perhaps. Or uh, your energy is femme, which is like nurturing and makes people feel safe. We have Mr. and Miss. We have F-U-C. We have X-O. H and D. Let's see. Smith. Music. Fun. Fuchsia. Someone could like dress like boldly or fun or there's something about someone's fashion or their style. FR for real. Much need. Much needed. Much need XO. So this person, <laughs> they like your hugs and kisses, even if they're not like actual hugs and kisses. It's like maybe that's what it feels like. Um... Anything else? I think that's it. All right. My muck names, <laughs> like last names that are mix something. Mr. F. Someone's last name could start with an F or their first name. Ma, Mah Muhammad. Yeah, Ma, Ma, H, D. Funny how that happens. All right, 
Now that's it. My group number two is thank you for joining me here today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. Please take care of yourselves and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks guys. Hello, my group number threes. <laughs> if you picked the sticker, then welcome to your reading friends. Today, we're going to be looking into who or what is heading your way. So that's the first question. And then we're going to be looking into what is it you need to know. And we'll be looking if it's a person, we'll be looking into their intentions. And then we'll be seeing if, um, yeah, we'll be seeing if we pull some advice and guidance for you. My group number threes, you guys know what's up. It's a collective reading on YouTube. So please only take what resonates. Leave the rest for someone else. If something happens to trigger you or repeat a story where you've been there done that and you you know you're over it friends it just probably means it's not your story today um, and that's okay that happens all right my group number three is thank you for joining me here my babies let's begin thank you spirit for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number threes messages for my group number threes please spirit messages for my group number three is who or what is heading their way who or what is heading towards my group number threes who or what? Who or what is heading towards my group number three? What can we know? Can you tell us? Messages for my group number three is who or what? We have high priestess in reverse. Oh, there's an unexpected revelation or an unexpected uh, breaking of silence, perhaps. Who or what is heading their way? Water signs, Pisces, and Scorpio coming through. We have the Magician. Okay. Who or what? Wow. Whatever this is, something's going to be revealed to you. Um, either that, like I said, there's some kind of silence that's broken. And it feels like this is going to be the much-needed change that you've been needing and it's part of whatever you are manifesting into your life uh, this could be life-changing especially depending on what it is because it does feel like this starts a new chapter for you a big a, a big chapter I mean look at all of those are majors it's like everything has been leading to this or at least whatever current cycle you're in it's all leading up to this so we'll see what it is thank you spirit who or what is heading towards my group number threes we have a king of swords in reverse who or what is heading towards my group number threes yeah there's communication someone here had some kind of big breakthrough and because of that there's going to be a big breakthrough in that trickles into your life I'm not really sure how for some of you this is literally you find out groundbreaking information that you didn't realize before you didn't have you get some kind of missing piece of information and you may even realize like, oh shit, I was being stubborn or I didn't see that that way before or oh, there's more to learn here. Now, if this has to do with communication with a person, um, this could just be talking about them and yeah. All right. Why the high priestess in reverse? Because it does feel like I, I couldn't see, but now I see, you know. Why the High Priestess in Reverse? Messages for my group number threes. Who or what is heading their way? Mm, someone's been nervous about this. Why the Tower? Maybe you have. Maybe you're afraid to fail. Yeah, but no. There might be fears of failure. But I feel like... Uh, interesting. Okay, so there's layers to this. Because as I'm digging in, I'm like, oh, this is this feels like it's childhood or this feels like it might be a deeply embedded belief within someone where their fear of failure kept them from their maximum potential or their fear of failure was keeping them small. And it's very hard for whoever that is to work through that. But that's where this change is happening, whether that's within yourself or a person who is an important part, like I said, the trickle effect that because this has been realized or this has been addressed or this is going to be addressed, it's like it leads to a, a new beginning, a very much needed. For some of you, this could happen like during Scorpio season because it is under that tower, but this is an unexpected new beginning 
it for some it's new love for others of you um, maybe it's uh, a new emotional beginning or uh, a reconciliation for some why the king of swords in reverse someone here has a hard time seeing themselves um, in a successful light or in a good light um, they could have be struggling with hope or being hopeful um, there's definitely an energy here that could be tied to their deep beliefs. Maybe they grew up in poverty or, um, they grew up in circumstances or situations that don't allow them to see themselves in a certain way. Now, I'm also seeing that with this magician and the five of pentacles in reverse, someone was limited in their resources, but they went with it anyway and are going to make something happen. And because they do. It leads to big change. For others of you, you manifested this at a time of hardship, separation. I just heard crisis. I don't know, for some of you. And because we went through this five of pentacles, now this change is coming in. Why the Page of Swords, please? Lots of air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, especially Aquarius. We have Sagittarius, Aries, Scorpio, and Pisces. Why the Page of Swords? Messages for my group number threes. Oh, they've been like, there's so much that they want to say or that they want to learn or that, you know, oh, that Seven of Cups, there's a lot here to talk about. A lot that I've realized I have a hard time expressing my emotions is what it feels like. I feel so much. I feel so big. I don't know what to say. All right. What else, please? So mixed emotions coming through. Who or what is heading towards my group number threes? Who or what? Maybe you've thought about this late at night. Someone here has been worried. Three of cups. Yeah, this is a... Uh, Someone here has been concerned about where things stand with you. Or if it's not like that, if it's not directly you and another person, this could be how you view relationships. And you're about to make a breakthrough in that and it's going to help you grow emotionally or it's going to help you uh, bring in new beginnings and be open to um, love and to be loved, you know. And for others of you, like I said, this, this could very well be a certain person that you're in uh, separation from with that Five of Pentacles. Tell me about the Tower and the Ace of Cups for my group number threes. Someone's going to reveal some kind of truth. Maybe tell you that they missed you or how they feel. If it's not that, you guys are about to be recognized for some kind of success or you're going to have some kind of breakthrough. I mean, regardless of what it is, guys, it feels like it's good and it feels like it's intense, but it feels like your current, like I said, your life has been building up to this to some degree for some time. Why the magician with the five of pentacles? It's been hard. Someone's been trying to make this happen. Someone's been waiting their turn or, and when I say their turn, it almost feels like it's my turn to shine or it's my turn to be happy. It's my turn to, uh, for those things to finally happen. I've been working so hard. Someone's been working very hard, planting seeds or, um, waiting for the right time. Yeah, there's this feeling here of coming back to things getting back out there or reuniting with a person. Tell me about the King of Swords in reverse with the star in reverse. This is someone, some of you could have this person blocked. Others of you, if you're in a place of not being open and receptive to love, this could be someone that you miss because you're not open and that's what you're opening yourself up to. It's like there is someone here. They are coming off as being your counterpart. For some, if you already know who this is, they're, they struggle, but it feels like they're coming in with some kind of 
important, let's call it an important update. <laughs> the software has updated, friends. Tell me about the Page of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Now, um, the Page of Swords and the Seven of Cups, for those of you that online date, maybe that's what it's talking about. This person wants to take you out. They want to get together with you or they want to drive towards you or travel towards you. They, this person, it's almost like they can't even talk because there's so much. There's just so much to go over. Nine of Pentacles, the lovers in reverse, the Empress. They feel like they feel like maybe you're not open to them or you won't give them a chance. Again, maybe how they view themselves. I don't have enough to give, but I'm going to use what I got <laughs> to see if it works. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, for some of you, this is like a new person. And for others of you, it's a new beginning with someone that you already know of. Group number threes, okay. All three, I can honestly say all three groups today felt the energy is different. All right, thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes, please. What do they need to know? Oh, our candle just went out. At least we still have one going. <laughs> what do my group number threes need to know? What are this person's intentions? This person that's coming towards them. Messages for my group number threes, please. What do they need to know about this person that's coming towards them and their intentions? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes, please. What do they need to know about this person that's coming towards them and their intentions? Thank you, Spirit. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse. We have the Fool in reverse. What do they need to know about this person? Oh, they've hesitated. This person, that's what's been the delay or that's what's been kind of slowing things down. Someone here has a hard time trusting in love or romance or isn't good at the dating thing. Messages from my group number threes. What's this person's intentions and what do they need to know? What do they need to know? Someone here feels blocked. Or like they can't, like uh, they're afraid to talk to you. Oh, maybe they don't find you very approachable. All right, well, if you want the one that you have blocked to contact you, then maybe we can start there just to send the smoke signal that you're open and receptive. And now if you know that's not for you, it's okay. You don't have to get triggered that I said that. I understand I understand they're not shit and you're over it. I, I get it. <laughs> so you don't have to take that for yourself. But for some of you, I feel like I feel like that's still a possibility. You know, um, if it's not that you have them blocked, again, there's there's something here where they feel like they can't approach you. Let's see why. Thank you, Spirit. Messages from my group number threes. What is it that they need to know about this person that's coming towards them? What are their intentions? Maybe you... Um, remember when I said, like, some of you might, like, miss this person? Maybe, I, I can't tell why, but some of you are like, no, no, no. That person is selfish. They're not for me. But at the same time, someone has a pull towards this. Why the Eight of Swords? What do my group number threes need to know? What's this person's intentions? This person's really nervous to make you an offer. You make them nervous. And there's something here about how you communicate or what your guys' current communication is. So this person, this person, okay, 
if you already know who this is, it's almost like they're afraid that some kind of past behavior, like I think maybe, I don't know if they have to explain themselves or if they just have to come to you really clear. I feel like that's really heavily on their mind. And maybe this is something that you feel has been too hot and cold. And that's why maybe you're the one that's keeping this blocked. And you're like, nope, I've left that. I, I'm leaving it behind. Because I kind of feel like a part of this person wants to come in and prove that they've realized some things. And it's almost like they're very excited to tell you. It's almost like they're at the level of growth that they just did. They might be real proud of. And you're like, fool, that was me like four years ago. Like, I'm glad you're finally there, but you're still not there. Maybe it's something like that. I don't know. Because, you know, this Queen of Cups tells me like you care for this person or you understand but you're also not really open to talking to them. Now, if this is someone you don't know, then again, maybe this is how you view romance and dating. And even though it's something that you want, maybe you're not really open to it. And maybe this Eight of Cups is truly leaving behind that past situation or those things that um, didn't work out the way you wanted them to in order to open yourself up to something new if you want it. None of this is being forced on you. You know, um, it's just if you want it and what, what you're ready for. So I kind of feel like this person is moving from the heart by like coming towards you. But, um, you know, let's see what else we can get. All right. Thank you, Spirit. What do my group number threes need to know about this person coming towards them? And what their intentions are. Why the Knight of Cups in reverse with the Queen of Pentacles? Oh. Yeah, maybe you closed out this chapter and you're like, no, not interested. Why the Fool and the Lovers? Yeah, you're like fighting this off. You're like, nope. And that's okay. Maybe you're, you're not ready. You're, you know, you got a lot of other life stuff, but someone here is trying to come towards you. Why the eight of wands in reverse with the knight of swords in reverse? You feel, this feels like, again, this feels like something's trying to come back around again. Or you're, you're blocking it the same way again. Or if it's a person, then, you know, we already know what that means. Not that one again. Why the Queen of Swords in reverse with the Queen of Cups? Yeah, whoever this is feels like they have an unspoken or a spiritual connection to you. Or you guys secretly love each other, perhaps secretly in love with each other. Or you understand each other without speaking. There is something here about you not speaking. But this person maybe still feels your love or your care or, or feels connected to you. Tell me about the Eight of Cups, please. Messages for my group number threes. What do they need to know? What are this person's intentions? They want to they wanna leave that behind and they want to work with you and build with you. Be happy with you. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The Tower in reverse. Rebuild. There's something here about avoidance, false starts, and lots of confusion. So that's probably the mixed feelings that are coming up for you where you're like, is this person really changed? Have they really changed? All right. For you, we are definitely going to do advice and guidance. We didn't do it for... Group one, because they didn't really need it. <laughs> but uh, you and your siblings in group two, let's get you some advice and guidance, my group threes. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes, please. Can we get some advice and guidance for my group number threes? Advice and guidance for my group number threes. Thank you, Spirit. Advice and guidance for my group threes. Advice and guidance. Thank you, Spirit. Advice and guidance. 
the justice in reverse, the nine of cups in reverse. So someone's not happy with the way that things are. Maybe this is you like saying this person would have to come in so open or so truthful, maybe even like vulnerable. So it's been hard to get this off the ground or it's been hard to create change here. Someone here isn't happy. Maybe someone hasn't let go. Uh, maybe the current chapter between you guys, um, they're not happy with the way it is and they feel like there needs to be a truth or some kind of balance to the situation. Ace of Wands in reverse, advice and guidance. So things here have been slow moving, to say the least, right? There's definitely been some false starts, I feel like. This feels like someone wants to talk about something from the past or bring something back around. Why the justice in reverse? Yeah, they want to close out something. Someone here might have like a contract or something that they're waiting on before they can move on or fully close out whatever that is. Someone's pride could have kept things from progressing as well. Why the Page of Swords? Advice and guidance. Maybe you're going to feel like, yeah, no, there's vulnerability here that's needed. Yeah. That Four of Pentacles in reverse confirms it. Oh, I just felt like I need to take a deep breath too. Listen, that's the kind of tightness that goes from the chest to the back, straight through the back. Um, we need to talk about something that happened is the vibe that's coming through. And my ego kept me from addressing this for a really long time, but I'm actually realizing how it's kept me from things that I want. And now I want to do something about it. That's the vibe I'm picking up here. Now, too little, too late, perhaps, perhaps, but that's the energy that's coming through today. Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Libra. Why the Ace of Wands in reverse? Someone here has regrets over something that happened. Why the Knight of Pentacles? Advice and guidance. This person's slow to react or slow to move or slow to change. This person has been needing to take control of their life or their take accountability. All right. Uh, messages for my group number threes, please. What do they need to know about this person? Is this person, have they created change or growth? What do my group number threes need to know about that? Is this person growing or are they stuck? They're growing a little bit. Aww. They're like a baby spiritual being. <laughs> this person's like, um, they're getting better about certain things. They want to talk to you. They want to catch up. It's almost like a, a, it's almost like they need you as a friend or uh, want you as a friend. Maybe that's where we're starting or maybe that's where it's best for now. Tell me about the Ace of Wands in reverse with the Five of Cups. Knight of Swords in reverse and the Two of Pentacles. So yeah, this person's still in and out. Why the Knight of Pentacles with the Emperor in reverse? Tell me about the Emperor in reverse. But they're working on it. Oh, Lord. This person's job might also get in the way. At least that's what they say. All right, so they're still going to be inconsistent, but they're very excited to tell you about something. <laughs> they're very excited to, I don't know, have some kind of conversation or maybe it's even like just messaging you and it's not like an actual conversation. I don't know. But that's what I'm picking up on today, my friends. All right, messages for my group threes, please. Let's see. Let's get you guys some oracle cards, and then we're going to do initials as well. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes. We have anxiety, happiness, magic, peace. All right. So someone here might be feeling a little anxious, anxious approaching you. We were kind of picking that up, uh, talking to you, right? That's what we said earlier. We have happiness, magic, peace, illumination, and movement. Now, this is your vibe over here. This person's all, you know, razzle-dazzled, and you're all just chilling. 
you're all just finding your peace, doing your thing. And you're like, oh, movement's happening. Okay, let, let's see what this is about. And then you're like, oh, you're, you're like te- uh, checking the temperature. And you're like, oh, not yet. The turkey's not done yet. <laughs> this person is not done yet. All right. It feels like this isn't done yet. We have MJZT, ZZ Top. Mm-hmm. We have XS. XS. That used to be the name of a club in Hollywood where Brittany used to dance at back in the day. That's actually where she met Kefed. <laughs> we have Mike or Mick. We have Casey. We have WM. TM, Tim. Mick again, Mike, Mc, McKinney, that's interesting, FC, football club, BX, BMX, someone could be into sports, X Games, KJ, JK, JU, Juniper, Jupe, let's see what else, I think that's it, well I mean you guys can see the letters, <laughs> all right my group number threes, that is what I have for you today, I hope you enjoyed your reading, I hope it resonated, please take care of yourselves and I'll catch you at the next one, thanks guys.